<clears throat> first cast. That was a hit. It's a light tap. Short strike, I guess. That wasn't... Almost missed the reel for a second. I went to grab it. It's not a bad one. Awesome. Good one to start off. At least a decent one. I'll just lift him, whatever. I have him on eight. It's definitely enough to lift a two pound fish. Or around two, maybe, maybe a hair over two. That's a nice one, man. That could be a 17. Not bad. Not bad for a first cast. At least a 16 and a half, I think. Yep, 16 and a half. Right around there. And pretty thick. Cool. I got him on this brown and white bucktail jig here. Twitching it. Hey, everyone keeps, uh, I gotta practice trying to whip them like that. I always get worried my thumb will give out, especially when I have a real big fish. And also, like, when I hold them up for the camera, this is kind of awkward, so that's why I usually hold them like that. Just so you know, a lot of people keep telling me about that. Alright, let them go here. The water's real clear tonight. Here's a fall fish. I hopped over to a new spot. Let's see if I can lift them up here. Oh, cool. Decent sized one, I guess. On a, like a pumpkin brown curly tail jig, I guess is the color. Um, it's probably like 15, 16. I don't have the tape measure set up, but he's right around there. 15 or 15 and a half, I bet. Get this jig out of his lip there and let him go. Oh. I'm gonna try and crank up some smallies in a few minutes. Just running this jig at first to see what would take it. Alright. Awesome. Hooked into something big. Real big on the next pull down. Either foul hook to carp or I got a pike or tiger on is my bet or, my, or pure strain muskie. Or, or a trophy walleye, I don't know, who knows. It could be all sorts of stuff, but I hooked something big. Oh boy. Stay hooked, baby. It's just six pound test. Man, he is staying, he's staying down and going with the current. That's a heavy fish. Oh, trying to, if I barely, if I max out the rod, I can just barely inch him towards me. Current's pretty strong. Well, not pretty strong, but water's up a little. Kind of got to walk towards him, I guess. Yeah, I think I foul hooked something. It's on the surface. Neat. Smaller carp foul hooked, maybe? That's my guess. Who knows, though? It's definitely foul hooked, though. They roll around on the surface when they're foul hooked. It's coming towards me. Just stay on the surface, and I'll get you. Some kids coming towards me. Stay hooked. That doesn't look like a carp to me. 
Oh my gosh, it's a big sucker. Cool. Wow, Fell hooked the sucker in the fin. That's a nice one. Not that big, but it's above average, slightly. Maybe a 20 incher, 1920. See, there's the crankbait on his um, fin there. Let's take him over to the bank here. There was just kids right there. I heard them. I don't know where they went though. Weird. Yeah, it's a good size one, I guess. 1920. I can just pull out the crank here. There we go. That came out nice. Whoa. You gotta be careful. Those hooks are sharp. Let's measure them quick just for fun. Gotta get this out anyway for the smallies. If there are any. If I get any. Just quick measure them. Measure them 25 to 5 fish. 19 3 quarters or 20. Good sucker, decent I guess. Let him go. There he is from below. Cool. Well, that was fun. There's one. I hopped over to this wall because I couldn't crank any up in the other river. That's awesome. That wasn't the first cast. I had to work for this guy a little. Oh yeah, that's at least 17. That's a nice one. Solid 17. Or seven or hair over, I bet. It's gotta be. It's a beautiful smolly. Wow. I love I got my curly tail jig by the way, 16th ounce. Curly tail. Pumpkin brown color twister mini. Get the tape measure out here. There's a jig slid down the head a little, but there it is. Mm-hmm. 17 and a quarter. Awesome fish. Not bad. Definitely a decent smolly. Trying to get the full fish in the perspective of the or the in the field of the flashlight for you, but it's tough. Maybe like that. It's, my arm probably looks bigger though, because it's closer to the camera, but oh well. I'm sure you guys know what a 17 inch smallmouth looks like. It's not that incredible. Alright, let him go here. Whoa, he's good to go. 
There he goes. Awesome. There he is. Awesome. Got this guy deep under the bridge. Is that a rock bass or just a little smallie? I think it's a smallie. That'd be a huge rock bass if it was a rock bass. Maybe barely 15. Cool. Another decent smallmouth. Tricking them after dark. They're super pressured because I have caught and released well over 100 off this bridge in the last couple months. So they're they're real skittish to almost everything. So they're biting at night. Let's see, get a flashlight out here. White one. Mm-hmm. 15 or 15 and a 16th. Mm -hmm. Nice chunky little 15 incher. All right, let's let him go here. Do the flashlight juggle. I like using the red light around the water because I think fish have a harder time seeing it. <sighs> Alright, let him go here. Awesome, good release. I wanted to end this video with something really cool that I saw earlier today on the way here. It's probably the rarest animal around here dead on the side of a road. A porcupine. I brought a stick to poke it with. Oh, that's so awesome. I've never been this close to one. These things are so rare around here that, um, that, uh, you're lucky if you see one alive in your life in southern New York. Wow, that's so cool. I've never seen one, let alone poked one with a stick. There's his face. Whoa, broke the stick. He's heavy. Look at his claws. I grabbed the stick. That's awesome. Tree climbing claws. So cool. He smells terrible. These are actually um, unprotected too, is the weird thing. You're allowed to shoot all you want anytime. They're one of like seven animals maybe. Because I, I guess because they're pests sometimes. Look at his tiny eyes. Really small. Wow. That's awesome.